business end of Queensland Premier Rugby season is now upon us. With only two competition rounds left, only six points separate Brothers on top and Jeeps in fifth place. Before we look to round 17, let's quickly recap the action from last Saturday. In a heavyweight affair at Old Mac Oval, Brothers had an opportunity to all but lock up the minor premiership by beating Sunnybank. However, it was the Dragons who flexed their premiership muscle as they put up a half century of points to demolish the Brethren 50 to 20. Reds hooker Albert Anne starred in attack for Sunnybank as he crossed the paint twice, while winger Shane Sweely also grabbed a double on a day to remember for the home side. Wallabies flanker Liam Gill also scored once as the defending champions sent an ominous warning to the competition that they are primed for another push at the Hospital Cup. GPS also reached a 50 point mark in their clash against the Sunshine Coast Stingrays at Yoku Road as they continue to fight to reach the top four. Fullback Josh Logan was the star for the host, bagging a hat trick in the eight tries to one victory. In other action, University proved too strong for Gold Coast in windy conditions, coming away with a 34 14 win that moves them into second spot on the ladder. For an amazing 12th occasion in season 2012, University managed to score a four-try bonus point in a match as they crossed the line six times, including doubles to Jamie Jerry Tuolagi and Simon Morahan. Souths have also kept their finals hopes alive after recording a four-point win over Premiership Hopefuls East, scoring two tries to the Tigers' one as they snuck home with a 14-10 win at Chipsy Wood Oval. It was a hard-fought defensive effort for Souths, who led in 36 points last time the two sides met in Round 7. However, it was Queensland Premier Rugby's top try scorer, Dominic Lespierre, who proved the difference as he scored both of the Magpies' tries to make it six tries in his last three home games. In the final game of the weekend, it was North who scraped home by one point, 29-28, against a valiant West Bulldogs outfit. The Eagles have shown the ability to post big scores in numerous games throughout 2012, but the hard-fought, narrow win was equally as satisfying, with winger Varesa Vuki scoring twice for the home side. While both teams are now out of finals contention, they played well above their table rankings, and the eight tries on offer proved fruitful for the spectators who ventured to Hugh Courtney Oval for the match. There were plenty of stars on show over the weekend, but it was George Bloomfield's effort for the Sunnybank against Brothers which saw him awarded the Masashi High Performer of the Week award. The Dragons ran right thanks to the efforts of Blomfield, with the talented flankers' work in the tight setting the platform for the team's backline to ignite their lethal attack. Blomfield was everywhere for the Dragons and was this week's deserved recipient of the Masashi Prize Pack. The penultimate round of this year's Queensland Premier Rugby season is upon us with all five of this weekend's encounters to impact the remaining six teams in finals contention. The match of the round is East vs GPS at David Wilson Oval. Norse will host Sunnybank at Hugh Courtney Oval. Gold Coast will welcome Brothers to Albert Park. South will be looking to keep their finals hopes alive when they take on West at Sedgman Oval. And University will make the trip to Stockland Sunshine Coast Stadium to play the Stingrays. Tune in next week for all the latest Queensland Premier Rugby news and results.